I think the biggest thing it takes to be um, an Olympian, to be a world champion, just to be a, a runner of any type is, is just a love of, of what we do um, and a, a love and enjoyment, sheer enjoyment of just the pleasure that you get from running. But also I think that we all have this kind of innate competitiveness which just means that it's something that we love doing but at the same time for me personally what I want to be able to do is finish my career and look back and say that I got the best out of myself, that that was the best that I could do uh, and I achieved that through working as hard as I can um, and I think that's kind of the biggest motivation but it comes out in lots of different ways, I mean obviously it comes out in being able to, to dedicate yourself and to, to come away places like this and just train really hard and push through the fatigue but I think that competitiveness can also come out in fun ways like on a group run where you just don't want to be the one at the back or you don't want to be the one getting dropped and just on runs where you've done before I just feel I just want to see if I can just run five seconds quicker than I did for this same run last week and just little things like that and um, I think that, that is all part and parcel of what makes a person who will push themselves that little bit further um, rather than the person who will just go out and just enjoy running for what it is. First off the difference between someone who's fourth or fifth and the person who's number one <coughs> I guess on the easiest level is just talent. Um, it's somebody who has that little bit more of a natural talent but then I think if you dig deeper than that it's, it's also a huge mental aspect so somebody might have say more natural talent than the person who's winning but they might be finishing third or fourth just because they're not willing to just go that extra one two percent to really hurt and to really dig it as deep as they can and it doesn't quite mean so much for them it's the same if they've come in fourth or fifth if they win they're not the person who really walks away absolutely gutted if they feel that they haven't achieved the, the position that they wanted to achieve um, I think it can also be a number of factors like sometimes even a little bit of luck on the day you can have two people in the same amount of shape and just one person comes to that race feeling a little bit more in the zone ready to go than, than the other person it can be that close in races sometimes um, what else um, natural talent in so many different ways can mean so many different things it can mean the person who can just go out with no training and just run brilliantly it can also be the person who um, has more natural talent to train hard so just their body is naturally more able to withstand harder volumes of training and tougher volumes of training and come back and get the obvious benefits from that training then another person might try and do the same amount might have the dedication to do that amount but their body just might break down <laughs>